got some tips for making a pie crust, whether it's gluten-free or vegan or any of the options. Tip number one, cut your butter into small cubes and use very cold butter, even frozen. You have to cut that with your flour. You can do that with a fork at home or if you have a food processor, it's a super easy cheat to put your butter and your flour together. Pulse it maybe 10 times and pour it into a bowl and that's done. Are you gonna guess? We like to let him guess because <laughs> yes. he's closer. He's yes. closer. He wins free lunches, we don't. I don't know, 0.34. 0.34. <laughs> it is. 4-3 of all things. This is uh, water and vanilla. And then you sort of fold it in until it's all nice and moistened. The main concern is that everything stays cold because you want the uh, little bits of whatever the fat you're using to be like evenly distributed throughout it in little pockets mm -hmm. so that that's what makes the crust flaky. I'm gonna roll this into a rectangle. There in the center, roll out in one direction. Don't roll back and forth. 1.02. 1.02? Yes. Okay. Feels like a good guess. That's you like an artist with this thing. One point zero two ninety-nine. That's close. That close. Yeah, that's really close. Wow. I like to guess. Point ninety-seven. Ninety-seven? <laughs> she said that with a lot of confidence. Ninety-two. Ooh. Bob's Red Mill all-purpose mix that used to be offered. Bob's Red Mill doesn't make that anymore. And so we came up with our own. And it is equal parts bean flour and uh, white rice flour. Garbanzo bean flour and white rice flour with some baking powder, salt, and xanthan gum as the binder. And you can literally hold it just straight up in the air and transfer gently to the surface and then typically it's pretty forgiving. If I have to adjust it back, I'll be able to. And there you have it. Pulled the plastic off, a little shaping, and you're all set. We want to help educate all of our customers and consumers about organic produce. On organic produce, it always always starts with a nine. If these were conventional bananas, this would say 4011, but it's organic, so it says 94011. Now all the produce we use at the health food shop that we sell and that we cook with is organic. So for a whole week, starting today, we're gonna give away a free banana to anybody who can come through the door and tell us what number is the first number in all organic produce. Thank <laughs> you.